Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we are going to explore this device. This one is Redmi 5, released back in 2017. It was a budget device from Xiaomi back then. And one thing about this device is that the build quality is really good. Not like today's device because the back is metal built. So it feels premium. It's pretty lightweight and thin too. So I really like the design and it looks really good. So in 2025, is this device still usable? So let's find out. By the way, I have flashed a custom ROM on this device. This one is running on Android 11 now. So officially, this device can run Android 8.1 based on MIUI 11. But now I'm using Android 11 dot OS 5.2.1. This is an official build of dot OS, which runs much better than the stock UI. You can get Android 12, 13, or 15 based ROM for this device. As my device got only 2 gig RAM and 16 gig of internal storage, I'm not going with those ROM, but I will definitely review some of them. But here, this ROM actually works really well on this device. And after using this ROM on this device, I it feels like I'm using a different device because it's so smooth and everything works really well. So, first of all, let's talk about what we are getting with the device. So, this device got a 5.7 inch IPS HD display. 60 hertz but it looks good and sharp and the viewing angle and everything really good one thing which i really like about this particular device is that the forehead and chin area so they are pretty symmetrical and it looks good actually i think this is one of the best design for gamers because you have um place to hold your device and to play games so in that case this is a pretty good device but the specs is not really good for gaming right now so you can't really play games on this device and on top we are also getting a 5 megapixel camera and sensors right hand side we got our volume rockers and power button left hand side there a hybrid sim slot you can use two sims or one sim one sd card on the top we are getting 3.5 mm headphone jack secondary microphone hole and ir blaster and on the bottom we are getting speaker grills and micro usb port and on the back we are getting our fingerprint scanner and 12 megapixel rear facing camera which is still take good picture in bright light situation but not really comparable with today's devices anyway let's check our android 11 here so as you can see here it is pure stock rom and one thing about dot os is that it looks really good i really love dot os because the ui and everything looks really good as you can see here the notification panel and in terms of network connectivity i haven't faced any issue it does work well and we are getting bo lte and bo wi-fi support so that is also available so as you can see here bo lte and also wi-fi calling is available so that's good we have customization section here so as you can see we can change wallpaper and there are a few other things you can do theme and clock face and everything are actually here so more setting as you can see here aod status bar so there are tons of setting available you can customize your device up to your liking we have gaming dashboard so there are a few things available here the display section all the typical setting but the ui looks really good actually and we can use dark theme double tap to work is available and works really well so double tap to sleep and double tap to work works sound and vibration so sound is working without any kind of issue in terms of battery so in terms of battery also the device is doing pretty good as you can see here after charging i did charge my device up to 75 percent maybe and i used only one hour three minutes so still 57 percent left so that's good actually because i did play games and use the camera to test it out so in terms of battery backup also the rom is really good and there are a few other things available like in terms of security we do have both face and fingerprint unlock fingerprint unlock is working perfectly fine no issue so if i show you that so it works each and every time but the face unlock is a little bit slower side in terms of other feature we do have theft protection here so we can turn it on and few other features accessibility section Although I have already disabled all the animation, but still we can see the animation as you can see here. Yeah, a little bit faster side now, but still we have animation. By disabling the animation fully, you can get better experience out of this ROM system. We don't really have much thing here. 
and about so i have already showed you so it is running on android 11 and if i check our security patch level so 5th of november 2021 and the ui as you can see here looks good and it feels really smooth so works really well as you can see in terms of other application this is a gfs build so we do get few google application here but not really much so in terms of built-in application we are getting camera application here so camera application is working as you can see here you can take picture and it works really well and also you can install gcam by the way the device can shoot up to 1080p video with both front facing and rear facing camera the picture qualities are not really amazing but they are decent and in terms of phone call so bo lte and bo wi-fi working so you will not have any issue but i haven't found any kind of recording option there so recording does not work in terms of google photos we do get unlimited google photos storage so these are the few features of having a custom rom you will get few extra features and then your stock rom and another amazing thing of this rom is that you are getting google play protect certification so you can use bank application here that's good actually that's why actually i'm reviewing android 11 based rom rather than going with android 12 13 or 14 based rom so the device is certified and the device runs really well so i have already installed a bank application here so if i try it usually if you install any bank application if you don't have safety net then it will show you some errors or your device is modified or anything like that they will warn you but as you can see here this one is allowing me to log in it's english so as you can see here i can log into my account here and you can use whatsapp without any kind of issue whatsapp is working well in terms of browsing i have installed bia browser but you can use any browser here obviously everything renders a little bit slower side because the device got only 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi band so it does not support 5 gigahertz band so it renders a little bit slower but you can actually play 1080p video on this device so that works well and youtube is also working perfectly fine no issue so as you can see here pretty fast everything renders really fast so really good rom actually in terms of gaming obviously you can't do gaming here you can still play offline games here without any kind of issue like i did try temple run and temple run 2 they runs a little bit slower side or you can see the frame drop here and there but they works in terms of online gamings no luck so you can't really do online gaming here by the way i really like the device it is very lightweight and very handy device um it still feels good and still usable as a daily drive no issue with that obviously not really for heavy user but for basic user the device still runs really well so if any are using this device let me know in the comment section below which rom review you want to see next and i will review that and if you want to flush this rom i will put the rom link in the description below that's all about this device so thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next one